This is Google's RT2 robots, and what you're witnessing is a first of its kind. Utilizing Vision Language Action Model, short for VLA, essentially what that means is this robot can not only understand written data, but it also has the vision to understand images and see objects in front of it. What does that even mean? Well, for example, prompt move soccer ball to basketball. It identifies the soccer ball, moves it to the basketball, and does that task. And then we have this one, move Taylor Swift, and you can see it can identify a celebrity's face and knows exactly where it is located. And it continues to showcase additional prompts with the differences in different objects. And we can see that it does all of these exercises with ease. Now, I can already see this robot in the next few years once it becomes more developed, doing a lot of tasks that humans are currently doing day to day. That could be as simple as cooking food for you in your kitchen. There's already robotics doing that as well. Doing your laundry, ordering food, anything you can think a robot could potentially do, I'm sure we can see that. Now we can see here, it can even identify different countries. Look for the German flag, puts the banana on there, and that is already a major breakthrough. Even here, this is sports team logos, and it can tell exactly which actual logo that it asked the prompt to do, and then does it based off of whichever company they put for that. In addition, pick up the bag that is falling. That's some logical thinking that even a robot we could not expect to do. Now let's go ahead and deep dive into what is behind the scenes. And if you wanna see the latest updates in the AI space and easy to read weekly summaries, saving you hours of time, be sure to click the link in the description and sign up to our newsletter. So let's go back on the basics, the vision language action model. And essentially it is trained on text and images from the web. So RT2 can directly output robotic actions. In short, based off of Google's words, RT2 can speak robots. Now, I'm not too familiar with many people that can speak robots, but from the examples they've shown, it looks like their current version can do quite well. So here we can see the VLM in action, and essentially it's getting data from the internet, the web, and it's recognizing all of this different information. Combining that with the RT1, boom, we get RT2. Now here's some interesting examples. It actually asks prompts in different languages, which we can see here. The first one obviously is written in English. Then the second option is in a different language. And then we have it going through its systems and it's able to go ahead and do what is asked. And like we saw in the video, here this is showcasing how it is able to recognize objects that it does not even know or understand and identify them correctly. So here is just a summary of all the things that we saw in the video. And we can see, for example, picking the strawberry and putting in the correct bowl. That is already a quite complicated task if you were to think about that. Imagine you're trying to teach a baby, for example, to pick a fruit, specifically a strawberry, and out of the different bowls, such as they have apples, and I'm not too sure what's the other one in the back, but let's just pretend it's bananas and then we have potentially a different fruit. A baby, most likely if they've never seen the fruit before, they would not even know where to start. And this is how I kind of look at robotics, except it's more intelligent to the point where it can identify things, learn it, and then once it does that once, it can get more data and continue to do it, such as picking up a bag that is falling. The fact that it knows what falling means, that's insane to think. Many of you might not realize how big of a deal that is, but little things like that are incredible for a robot with no human brain and no emotion and no essential thought process besides straight up information that it's fed. And then we continue to see all the other examples such as the soccer ball, Germany, Taylor Swift, bananas, picking up animals, etc. So here we can see how it's categorized. So right now they have the RT2 with the Palm E, which is on 12 billion parameters. And then we have the RT2 train on Paul I X, which is 55 billion parameters. And this is against their RT1. 
and essentially the VC1. Now we can see here the difference clearly, obviously blue, if you can't notice, is the latest with the most parameters. And essentially for this first option, system understanding or symbol understanding, reasoning, human recognition and average, obviously the 55 billion parameter just absolutely dominates everything. And then we can see again, they have the two variants of RT2 together. And then here is what they have in baselines in a blind AB study, and here are the current results. Now, in general right now, at least it shows an improvement of 2x. So we can compare right now the green and the blue for the bottom charts. And for some, it looks like it's slightly better on the green, but then on the blue, for example, unseen environments does significantly better for that part. But again, these are still the latest comparing these to RT1, absolutely significant improvements, and it's just simply going to go on from there. However, scene task seems to be, at least with their current data, it seems to know it quite well. But the fact that unseen, essentially unknown, that is major progress. And here we can see this example showcases additional abilities as they call chain of thought reasoning for control. So here we can see starting from the top left, give an image, bring me a drink. And this is their prediction. They say it's gonna pick up the 7-Eleven can and it showcases the actions that it's going to do. And then we can see given instructions, move all the objects together. And then it continues with pick the object that is different from all other objects. And then again, we have move green objects together. And you can see basically these are just additional examples of what the RT2 model is capable of doing simply with this ability to recognize this image. So here, let's go ahead and look at another visual. Pick an object that's different from all the other objects. Now, as a human, we can recognize that the candy bar, at least what it looks like to me, is different from the drinks. Now you can see here, move the Rubik's Cube to the water. And this is again, something that a child would never understand if you never taught them. But seeing that a robot can do this, that's already impressive. And then we can see here, move the green objects together. So visually, it can understand the color green. That's one step. And two, it knows where to go. Now, deciding which object it picked first, obviously that is something they could probably test on. And then here, again, we have blue. And at least right now, it looks like it's moving the closest object to itself to the other objects. Another thing would be why it did not pick up the Pepsi can first, but again, regardless, it did the prompts and that's already impressive. Now, obviously you could probably ask it, move the farther blue object to the closer one, but here we can see, pick an object that's different from all the others and, and we even have two same colors and it knows that the can is clearly different. And here's a last visual showcasing the robot moving blue block from ketchup over to the mustard and then ideally, you can say move it to the hot sauce and back again. And it essentially could do all those steps based off of the prior examples. Now, this is just the beginning in the robotics and future of technology. So if you wanna see latest updates in the AI space, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.